The message Albert Einstein left for the people of the year 6939, that's like almost 5,000 years from now. Albert Einstein characterized the humanity of his time as follows. People living in different countries kill each other at irregular intervals so that for this reason anyone who thinks about the future must live in fear and dread, he said. This message was written by Einstein for humanity that would live in 6939. But why specifically this year? Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Corporation, PR, Mr. G. Edward Pendray, a rocket enthusiast and science fiction writer, conceived the idea of a time capsule. The time capsule is an airtight container made to hold messages and objects from the present to be found and read by future generations. This capsule created by Pendray was destined to be buried for 5,000 years from 1939 to 6939 when it would be opened. The message Albert Einstein left for the people of the year 6939, it was 2.28 meters long, weighed 363 kilograms, that's, that's a, a very big weight, and had, that's almost half a ton, and had an internal diameter of 16 centimeters. Westinghouse called it coupaloy after the materials it was made to resist corrosion. Coupaloy, uh, or cup alloy. Now instead, there are 10 million words on microfilm, many more, and some intellectuals and celebrities have been given the ability to write messages to the culture that will open this time capsule. For example, Thomas Mann wrote bitterly, quote, we know now that the idea of the future as a better world was a fallacy of the doctrine of progress, end quote. Albert Einstein left the aforementioned message the full version of which is as follows. The message Albert Einstein left for the people for the year 6939. He says, we live in an age rich in creative intelligence whose expression should significantly enhance our lives. Today we cross the seas by man-developed power and use that energy to relieve humanity from exhausting muscle work. We have learned to fly and are in a position to send messages and news without difficulty to the most remote parts of the world through electrical waves. However, production and distribution of goods is completely disorganized, so the majority of citizens have to live in fear of the possibility of their elimination from the economic circle and therefore suffering from lack of needs. In addition, the inhabitants of different nations kill each other regularly because of this all who think about the future should feel fear and terror. This anomaly is due to the fact that the intelligence and character of the mass are far lower than the intelligence and character of the few who produce something valuable to the community. I believe that the next will read these statements with a sense of justice and the need for a change in the situation." End quote. In 1965, a second time capsule was buried 10 meters north of the original one. Both capsules are buried 16 meters below Flushing Meadow Park, which houses the exhibition. Now, Flushing Meadow Park, I used to live around there in Queens, New York. You know, I, I'm sorry to say that. It's not the best of places because when it rains, that area basically floods. Okay, and everybody there, but it's a beautiful place to um, have a family picnic or whatever, go bicycle riding or jogging or just jogging with, along with your dog. So Flushing, and they're buried in Flushing Meadow Park, by the way. So this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.